Unfortunately, we choose not to film the, the dispatching process of our geese um, just because we do have kids that watch our channel. Um, I am going to show the cleaning process. She's helping me. She helped me with dispatch. My dad actually came up and helped me with dispatch because it was a little trickier than we expected and wanted. And he gave me Brandon a birthday present. Yeah, yes, uh, October 8th was her birthday and September 6th was his birthday. So now we're going to clean this goose. Okay, you'll see I am skinning the goose out. Um, she's really, really fatty. I don't want this fat on my goose meat. I don't like fat. So I'm in the process of skinning her out. Now, my dad, when he hunts geese, he would do all this. He skins his out, same as what we're doing. And he would do this out in a field uh, where he's hunting. So this is how I've learned how to, you know, I have a pot of water right here to rinse my knife. Me is trying to get out through the window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, this is where I've learned to skin um, my animals because as a child, my daughter's age, I did go hunting a lot with my dad. Just underneath still. And I'm not going to keep the wing. We're going to take the wing off. We're going to take the wings off. I don't want to cook the wings. Will that make cooking time longer too? Nope. It's just the wings are very difficult to skin out. Where she is so fatty, I don't want anything I don't need on her. You can pause it. We got her cleaned out. And now I'm ready to pull her lungs out, her liver, and all her gutting. Like so her I'm gonna do that, her stomach and everything. So I'm gonna go in and cut this open now. There is a little bag in here. You can hear it cutting. That's what, that holds all her organs. And like a chicken you would do, you're gonna stick your hand all the way in and you're gonna pull out. Everything you can. Everything you can. You're just gonna yank it out. I gotta. What'd you grab first? That will be her heart. <laughs> like a mystery. And everything else. And everything else. Her guts, her. Everything. <laughs> you wanna take her gallbladder out. And I have always keep a pot of water right there. And so. Without breaking the uh, gut sack, I'm going to peel away some more of this fat um, and cut her down to where her rectum would come out. And then I'm gonna wash the meat really good. So her gut is right there, there's her gizzard. Whew, she's a smelly one. Smelly one. And in all honesty, she smells because of her gut being still warm um, wild geese actually smell six times worse um, wow. because they wild like and stuff well that and there we go now she's all and I'm going to save certain organs so oh, my phone I am so sorry mommy 
It's okay. You didn't break it. No, I did not. But I accidentally put my finger in the camera. That's okay. Now I want to detach like her lo her liver. Oh, I got the camera dirty. It's okay. Wipe it off. There we go. Nice and clean. What um, organs are you saving? I'm saving her liver and her lungs. What do you use those for? Uh, what? And we use those for basically gizzards. Um, yeah, you can make gizzard stew, stew with it. My favorite. And I'm gonna save her stomach, which is the gizzard, the actual gizzard. Um, and hers is extremely large. She's a big bird. She is. She weighs probably about 12 pounds. Yeah. Just what with her meat and her her intestines by itself, or with all her feathers and stuff. No, with her feathers she was probably about 25 pounds. Gee. Um. Now that she's been cleaned. What's inside that? That's her food. Ew. <laughs> It looks like vomit. And the rest is gonna go in there. Bye bye. So, Yummy. I want you to go get me. Go get you. Go get me some hot water. Yeah, you'll see me. I'm cleaning her up. I'm rinsing her off really good. Um, yeah, I kinda, there's certain chunks that I could've got cleaner. For our first goose, don't get too close with the water. For our goose, first goose process, I think I did really good. I do too. I got the majority of the skin off and the fat off. And I got her good and cleaned. Can we put stuffing in here when we cook, when we cook her? Yes. Yay, I love stuffing. So what are you grabbing now? I'm going to put her in a bowl and I'm going to let her rest for 24 hours in the fridge. Okay. And now she'll sit in the fridge. How good do you think she'll taste? She'll be cooking. really good on, on it. For our Thanksgiving. Yay. I love Thanksgiving because then you get to eat lots of food. Mm-hmm. See the steam coming off of her? They can't see it on this. Oh. Well, there's still steam coming off of her from being butchered. Um, because she is still really warm. That's what you call a fresh butcher. Uh, this is as fresh as our meat comes. Uh, we literally go out to the coop, selected our goose for Thanksgiving. My dad came out, or sorry, helped me process her, and I did the butchering and cleaning. And now she's going in the fridge for the next 24 hours. Yummy. Um, either Sunday or Monday she'll be cooked. Yeah. She'll be marinated tomorrow. So if you like that video on how to skin out a goose and clean a goose, that's our video on cleaning our Thanksgiving goose. Uh, she's now sitting in the fridge and going to sit in the fridge for 24 hours to rest. Uh, she will be marinated tomorrow evening and then cooked on Sunday. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. And my daughter who's back there. She was in all the procedures from dispatch to cleaning to putting her in the fridge. Um, she was in the process of raising her, cleaning her pen, feeding her, and I really love getting my kids involved with the homesteading um, and them understanding where their food comes from. So like I said, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Bye bye. <laughs>